Hello, I'm Mark Thomas. Welcome to our Pause to Ponder. Here I read a few words from the Bible, comment on them, and we pray together. Welcome. Today I'm reading John chapter 14, verses 19 to 21. So please turn in that passage and read along with me. John 14, verses 19 to 21. Jesus is speaking, and he says this. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in the Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Jesus will return to the Father, but he will not leave his disciples alone. As they obey the commands of Jesus, they will receive another advocate, a counsellor. You may have heard the Greek word paraclete used in this connection. Those who lovingly obey Jesus will be in receipt of this protecting spirit. The spirit encourages and strengthens them. The spirit is the spirit of truth. He assists the disciples by helping them to know and to speak the truth about Jesus Christ. There's a legal sense to this word advocate. The disciples will stand on trial, as it were, for the truth about God made known in Jesus Christ. They won't stand unaccompanied, but they will have this heavenly advocate assisting them. This sense of tension comes out in verse 17 in this passage, where the world will not recognise this advocate. In John's Gospel, the world usually means human society in rebellion to God. The world, in that sense, does not hold to the truth and so cannot see the spirit of truth. But the disciples know this spirit already, for he already lives within them, lives with you and be, will be in you, says the passage. They will in future know him intimately. Jesus' promise here, of course, is that you and I are not alone. The truth about Christ is contested in our world, sometimes bitterly so. But we do have one who is at our shoulder, at our side, standing with us, even if we do sometimes feel abandoned by God or weak. We are not spiritual orphans. And so we ought to be more conscious of this advocate spirit ministering to us and we ought to remind one another that God is present with us let's pray Lord of life I thank you that you are not far off but that in Jesus you have brought me into your own life and that in Jesus you show me your own love may I be the one who loves him and obeys his commands so that I may know more richly your love for me. Hear our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, can I recommend that you go and read those words again from John's Gospel, and then join me next time for the next session as I pause to ponder. Until then, take care and God bless.